Cornelius. He squeezed my hand so tightly. Forgive me. I cannot help but keep you close. But soon I must depart. My father awaits. Can you meet me here again? I shall be waiting. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. <laughs> I do not approve. Ingwe! How dare you! How long have you been there? Must I turn him into a frog to make you give him up? Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Your love amounts to nothing. <laughs> you need not be jealous, Ingwe. King Valentine's blood runs through you both. You are the last living heirs. You shall restore the throne. Silence. Skaldi, go tell Urza that I shall be successful in my plans. I. A king, eh? So they want us bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please, don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgotten about the curse she set on us. I have not forgotten. No, you have. Now, read this once again. Read the prophecy our mother wrote. Tis written clearly. An unavoidable curse and death shall be unleashed upon us both. Our mother, who could see the future, wished death upon us. We abandoned our mother first. Twas inevitable she would curse us. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king would have executed us as well. I would have preferred that. At least we would not have to suffer under a curse cast by our own mother! That doesn't mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. Oh, can you see the future now, like Mother in Hindel? <laughs> I'm sorry, Velvet. I spoke too strongly. Let us go. Hold on to this. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse. Curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. Mother. Cornelius, are you going to the forest again? You've changed recently. I thought you would have learned to be responsible, but you are still immature. No matter how fascinating that girl in the forest is, remember, you are a prince. Be reasonable and stop acting like a fool. Your Majesty, the prince merely wishes to sow his wild oats while he retains his youth. Stay out of this, you court jester. Calling the royal sorcerer a fool is quite harsh. Father, as I have said, tis no mere game or jape. My feelings are genuine. I told you what happened to your uncle. Do you recall? Are you saying you wish to commit the same mistake? My brother loved a common girl from the village and was disowned by the king. After suffering that humiliation, and fleeing the country, he fell ill. Father, this is different. The woman I love is no low-class commoner. I do not believe she is unfit for royalty. A kingdomless princess. What did she expect of you when you first met? Father, please stop insulting her. You may be my father, but I will not hear her impugned. 
Cornelius, I know of another princess, more beautiful, more honorable, wealthier. Let your princess of the forest know my feelings. Regardless of what you say, my mind is made up. If you do not approve, I shall abdicate my heritage. Cornelius, wait! Your Majesty, the Prince will eventually come to his senses. Perhaps we ought to leave him be for now. Why hath my slumber been disturbed? You possess the gift of foresight. I seek an answer from you. Unfortunately, I cannot assist you. When I speak, fairies and humans misinterpret my words and lose their perspectives. I have stopped gazing into the future. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. Sheep are close to humans as food, not friends. So too are dragons. We have never been friends of man. I see. So you are Velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, a curse and death surround your own demise. Tis nothing to fear. No life can escape death. When life ends, a world is sealed. If you know my fate, you know that it is pointless to discuss my death. Yes, that is correct. Please tell me what the future holds. Everything hath already been written in the prophecies. I have nothing more to add. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. My mentor? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? I exist for guidance. Though I be not rewarded, I must serve my purpose. Until, as the prophecy states, the Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom takes my life. Oh. Deny fate if you wish. That is your duty in your demise. Mm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend shall attend to you. Now, please go. My own end draws near. Even sinners before their execution are allowed time for a prayer. Please do not interfere with my slumber. Where am I? Where is this? Oh! What's happened to me? My body... My ears! I... I... I'm a beast! What in the world? Is this all a dream? No. This gloom... It chills me down to the bone. This is all too real. This place... It's so strange. It's entirely devoid of life here. If the stories of the Netherworld are true, then this is surely it. Hmm. I have to find my way back.
Back home to Titania. I must return to the princess. Hold! Huh? I can smell you. You are Titanian royalty? I, so I am. I am Prince Cornelius. When I woke up, I was like this. Cornelius, I cannot see but I know. Yes, surely, tis you. This fearful voice that speaks to me from the darkness. Who are you? Even if I told you, you would not believe me. Do not approach me. My flesh is merely a banquet for maggots and other filth. If you saw my body, your very soul would tremble and your blood freeze. <gasps> Take that. You shall find it useful. As Prince of Titania, tis your responsibility. That sword may eventually make my identity known. What do you want of me? Do you know what has happened to me? Go now. If you do not wish misfortune to haunt you forever, aim for your home, Titania. Your destiny awaits there. Wait! Please go. Let me rest. He's gone. <laughs> It is a dream, an illusion. I'm still asleep in bed. Please let it be a dream. Let me wake from this nightmare and be greeted by the sun's warming rays. But I have no choice. I must continue. I must speak with you. It is an urgent matter. Please wait for me at our usual spot. I would like to finally shake the indecisiveness I have held for so long. My love, I shall speed towards you, quick as the wind. Prince Cornelius. I sense signs of life in this land, ruled by carnage and destruction. Be this a trick, can I hope? Alas, I have naught to lose. All I feel now is resentment and hatred. I have lost any compassion I once had. You, walking skeleton, stop right there! Who are you? I do not remember names. Who are you, aimlessly roaming this land? What purpose do you have? Spirits and goblins shall find you and tear your tender flesh to ribbons. What do you suggest I do? You. Do you wish to leave here? In order to do so, it is necessary to receive permission from the Queen. Let me guide you to her. But in compensation for my services, I ask you to take me with you when you leave. Agreed? How greedy of you. I cannot promise your safety. Now come, and be quiet. Or else, they will gather. What are you doing? Stay close to the candle. Without light, you shall not be able to see the ghosts. 